If you're not growing, you're shrinking and you will eventually go out of business. And I will never forget that because there was a time when I was saying no to things, you know, but now I pretty much say yes to almost everything and figure out later, okay, let me see how to build this. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, last two questions. The first is how have you gotten through maybe your most challenging times? I know you're a kind of like a strong headed person, but everybody has doubt. How do you deal with that? How, How do, do you deal with doubt? Keep going. Do you ever have imposter syndrome? I cry. <laughs> you cry? <laughs> no, I don't cry. One of the worst times I've had as a small business owner was the crash of 2007. That was a time when I and many other businesses, the floor fell out from underneath us and there was no stopping the falling. There wasn't a landing. We just all kept falling. It was in 2007 when I realized, um, and I had, was pregnant with my third child and I realized, oh my goodness, I've put all my eggs in one basket. I have not diversified my business enough. I haven't really, you know, sort of spread out and I was distracted a little bit. You know, I was doing really great. I had two children. I was rolling. What do you mean by spread out? Um, I needed to spread out. I was really putting too much in a couple of clients. And this gotcha. is always a strategy that will inevitably fail any business to not mix it up. Um, so my advice is always to any entrepreneur or small business to ensure that you have a diverse customer base to withstand some sudden change, to withstand sudden change. Um, and that's important. So what got me through that was what I talked about earlier, um, my tribe of women and my network of people, because we all were hand stock, lock, <laughs> stock, barrel, arm in arm, marching together, you know, to survive that economic crash of 2007 and 2008. Had I not developed those relationships, you know, um, and they were and they're authentic and they still exist today. Had I not developed those relationships, I don't know if I would have made it. And my relationships were diverse, family, friends, women, business owners, you know, all of us together, we were all scared. So that was a really trying time for a lot of us. And I would suggest that anybody that has their own business or that's an entrepreneur that, um, you know, you don't focus on one lane or one group of people or one product line or one service line or one type of client or one industry ensure that you have a mix-up because suddenly that person or industry might vanish overnight and what have you got nothing yeah or you'll be very limited and you'll have to climb your way out which is exactly what i had to do however what was awesome about that climbing was I realized what I had to do to change. And that change is what completely helped me pivot my business into a new model. 